hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel in today's tutorial i will be making islamic logo for our today's class okay let's get started all right first of all we delete this test because we don't need this for now so straight up to the to this tutorial all right okay so here is our logo we'll be using you can find this logo from our pinterest or pinterest or our google chrome search for it you get it there so we're giving it a name a title and we Right, this is the this is the name of the logo I will be using okay for the sake of this tutorial so let's quickly swap down to change the font so you can play along can play around with your with your font okay just anyone that will suit you anyone that will suit your design okay so change this background to the color to black so one thing i will be explaining to you guys is this particular mock-up we'll be using for today's class does not really matter the uh, the color you use for your design it will actually come out with another color and that color is from the mock-up so i'll be showing you guys how to apply the mock-up on any of your designs so just try and watch carefully don't skip any part because each part of this tutorial is very essential so that you will not miss the step that you are supposed to know okay so you put their slogan put their slogan let's be one you change as well the font change as well the font and give it a cool cool and change it to any you change the color to black i don't like this font Let's change it change it change it from here then make it bold Check your padding increase so that you now cut off any part. So here is it. So let's work on the alignment. Align all your logo. Align the test. Align the test. All right. Now you change remove the background just make it plain then you save always select ultra so that your design will come out well okay now we are moving straight to photo p so let's move down ahead
Okay, here is Photopea environment. Here is Photopea environment. So let's quickly import the mockup we'll be using. Just click on your open. Click on file. Then you locate the mockup wherever it is. And you see here. And here is the mockup. So you just hold on why it loads. You just hold on why it loads. You just be patient. Make sure your RAM size is okay. Okay. So now let's go straight. Click on your layer. Click on your layer. Go straight to your smart objects smart objects click on open then that is it then you go to your file again click on please open and please then you select your your design from your folder from wherever it is you just go to recent and here is the here is it so let's just wait until it come up okay that is our stuff over there so let's just hold on so here is our design here is our design so you go to your lay of the down one so you go back then you save click on your file and save smart object so just allow it to load to upload the design we just made now just hold on just hold on upload it so what you do now you just click on the premium 3d then you hold on as well just hold on just hold on just hold on just hold on, just hold on, just hold on to come up. Just hold on. The file is a little bit heavy. That is why you need a better RAM so that it can run well. So just hold on. Just hold on. Just hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. And here is our design that has come up. And if you watch, our design is cool. Okay. So now you click on your file. Click on your file to save. Go to export as. Then click on JPEG. Then 